Hello, my beautiful beauties and my wonderful lovelies. A pleasant afternoon to everyone or evening now. They say when it hits six o'clock, it is evening. All right, my beauties, listen to me now. So I was doing some, I, I re, it's really the Chronicles of Judas Iscariot. And uh, I've wanted to speak on his situation, not from the angle that we know him as Judas the betrayer or Peter the denial. No. I want to speak from it. I want to speak about him from the angle of at least in his, I would call it insane state. And I say insane because he betrayed the best being ever. There was a moment of sanity that befell him. There was a moment of sanity that Judas experienced. Because his mind started to reminisce. That's one thing with the mind, you know. It has its moment when it starts to think on the experiences you've had. You can't stop it. It's natural. I think it's something that was innately built within human beings. Whether you're Christian or not, it doesn't matter. You start to think, you start to reminisce. And nostalgia became the order of the day. And he began reminiscing on all the wonderful experiences he had with jesus and that must have been heartwarming for him it moved him and i'm sure moved him to tears he bawled in my opinion more than how peter wept after peter denied jesus he bawled and bawled and said to himself how is it that i have betrayed the best being how could i have done such an evil thing how could i have done something so heinous this is unforgivable. And, you know, as far as he was concerned, he could not spend a dime or a penny from the money, threw it away, found a tree and he hung himself. I'm juxtaposing that to many people today who have betrayed friends, good friends, people who genuinely were loyal, who genuinely loved them and had their backs. Not perfect because they're human beings just as yourselves. But they were good friends and they betrayed them and they feel no way. They feel no way, they feel comfortable, they're happy, they rejoice. But there's going to come that day. After you go through your own experiences with what betrayal is and what treating somebody who means you well badly. And you're going to remember your friends. And you're going to want that friendship again. You're going to almost beg for it. And too late may just be your cry. Judas was better than a lot of people. At least he felt bad for what he did. Follow me on TikTok, subscribe to my YouTube channel, share this, be a good friend.